Okay. So people throw around the term emotional intelligence a lot these days. And I was just thinking about that um, earlier and wondering, you know, what does that even mean? What does emotional intelligence mean? I mean, what are emotions? What are their purpose? I mean, everything serves a purpose. What is the purpose of emotions? So when I'm working through, uh, you know, life coaching people and guiding them, we look a lot at emotions and the story that dictates the emotions, what's creating these emotions within you, right? The turbulence within. And why is it there? What's happening? And what's funny is we know that emotions happen on an internal level. Emotions are happening inside of you, not outside of you. Yet, we are always looking to validate our emotions by what's happening outside. So if I'm experiencing anger, frustration, you know, irritation, um, even happiness and joy, we want to place the reasoning for these experiences outside of us instead of looking at inside. And so I want to uh, take a moment and just, and just look at it this way. We have something uh, that we utilize a lot in our cars, you know, on our phones, GPS, right? This is the, the global positioning, whatever. So it's, it helps us find things on the external world. Uh, so we type in an address and we go. I want you to view your emotions as your EGS, your emotional guidance system. So it is very similar, only your emotions are guiding you on an inward journey and the destination is always set at return to self. Um, you know, oftentimes we get lost along the way because we're not paying attention to the emotional guidance system, right? Maybe we've turned it off or we're not looking at it in the right way or we start looking outside of ourselves to, to place the emotions. But if we utilize our emotional guidance system to access our self on the higher level, then suddenly we can notice when we're off track. See, because that's what fear, angst, anger, frustration, all of that stuff is showing you that you're misaligned. You're out of alignment when you're in distress or discord, right? But when we're happy, we're peaceful, we're joyful, we know suddenly that we're in alignment with our true nature. You know, and this, and it feels good. And we emanate that energy and suddenly life starts to work again. Things feel good again. And so it's so important that we stop looking outside of ourselves to make those adjustments on that inward journey. See, because that's what it's there for. When our emotions show up, don't say, I need to change you, or I need to change what's happening outside that's causing this turbulence. It's not the case. The turbulence is already there. And then we look through our eyes, utilizing the filters of those emotions, and we try and validate it with the external world. We validate something that's happening internally from the external world. And that's just not the way it works. You gotta shift the emotions first. Use them as a guidance system. Go inward, return to self, and then from that place, watch how your world will change. Watch how magically the outside world will align when we're looking to validate bliss, joy, happiness, love, peace, and compassion. Suddenly, that's what we begin to experience. So, I want you today to tune into your EGS, your emotional guidance system, and check in. Don't judge, right? You meet yourself where you are. If you're in frustration, be in frustration. Notice though that that's where you are. Put a little marker and say, okay, my destination is happiness. How do I get there? Ask, watch, it will show up. And it's not showing up by asking somebody out here or demanding something change. That's not how you get there. You gotta close your eyes. You gotta drop in, notice where you are, and then look for the directions back to self. And they'll show up, I promise, I promise. Hope you have a great day. Thanks so much.